So packing my books and my CDs um, and thinking about how I'm going to pack those. I'm going to pack my books again in small boxes and um, again bank boxes, the boxes that you can buy at the store with the lid um, that, that you can totally remove and the handles are wonderful for books because they do have those handles where you can pick them up um, and they are small enough that you really, um, um, you can get them pretty heavy if you put in, you know, um, a lot of really big, dense books, but, um, but they help monitor how, how heavy the boxes are. So um, with that in mind, um, um, vary, vary what kinds of books you're putting in, um, in a box. So you might um, have reference books or um, big, thick, really dense books that um, you might put on the bottom and then put some paperbacks in that, book, in, in that box as well um, to kind of even out the weight. Um, so that's, that's how I'm going to be packing my books. And my CDs, since I have them in these containers here, I'm probably just going to keep them in this container so that I don't have to use up another box. And, um, and because they are pretty heavy, just as they are right now, um, like in these things. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape um, or a rubber band around it, um, around this case vertically to, to keep my CDs from coming out of, of the box. And... Um, and so those are some ideas for how to pack your books and your CDs.